What's up everybody, Tindo here, and before me, I have a big paper bag full of awesomeness. I know about once a week, once a month, I say something hyperbolic, like I think I've had my best haul ever. And I don't know if this one's my best, there's probably a few that compare, but there's some stuff in this bag that I am over the moon about. And I found all of it at one store. I do have a couple other things behind the bag that are also kind of a surprise that I got it other stores today. I went to quite a few stores and didn't get it too much until the last one and it paid off. I can't wait for you to see what's in this bag. So let's go to the thrift stores. Let's look around, see how I failed at first, but then see how my efforts paid off. Check this out. My favorite is of the favorite thrift store, Desert Industries. There's not a lot here. Six dollars? Okay. It's one of those days where literally everything on the shelf I already have. The only thing I didn't have, this circus game, and uh, it's sealed, so it's six bucks, but I'm gonna go ahead and buy it because it's sealed. But also interestingly back here, there's people that are actually here most of the day on Mondays because it's the restocking day. So these people wait for every cart to come out, every cart of new stuff, and then they just storm it. And uh, I guess they're resellers and that's how some of them make their money. It's not a, not a terrible idea. I mean, I have the patience to sit at the bins for long hours. So it's more comfortable here than it is the bins. Maybe we should try it sometime. Maybe we should spend a whole day here and see how it goes. Something to think about for a future video. I want you to look at what I just found. Hey. How are they not too small for your face? I mean, they That's are. Funny. They're not fitting on my ear. Here, Cute. you put them on. It's not bad on you. You should get them. You should get them. <laughs> no, they, they feel weird. Hello? It's your Uber. I'm here. <laughs> It's only two, three bucks. Gotta get it, it's mine. This belongs to me. the shelf for something. <gasps> oh my god! Nice shirt. Hey, tendosaur.com.
Ooh, I didn't see those Game Boys. Oh, never mind. 80 bucks. All these ones right here? Yeah, all those and then these cartridges down here as well. I'd also pretty much like to see, uh, well, I was going to say all of them, but I can tell most of it. Uh, can I get this Six Flags game? This PlayStation 2 game here as well. I'm going to want a lot of stuff out of here. Uh, can I see what's underneath that Tiger Woods game? Yeah, what's underneath there? And that Avatar game as well. This Shrek game and the next one. This Kabuki game. Let me see these two, these three Xbox games. Yeah, let me see those two GameCube games on the end. Yeah, just grab me those three Xbox games right there. Yeah, those three. Grab this PSP game, this little one. I can't tell what that says. This white, yeah, second to last one. And then, uh, now nah, you can put that one back. And then I just want them see what all this stuff is. I can't really tell. Just the stuff that's spilt over. Yeah, that's good. I think... What is that Wii game? Uh, yeah, I'm good on all that. Can I look at all that other stuff we set aside? See all those games, the NES games, and all. There's so much there. I guess while I've been gone for a week, things have kind of restocked. So. What'd you think about all that? That's a lot. What's your favorite thing in there? Kirby. Yeah, I think I might be a little bit more excited about that PSP game, but I'm pretty excited about that Kirby game. <laughs> all right, guys, I am back in the game room. Let's go through the stuff that uh, that is not in this bag first. First of all, I got a sealed copy of something, uh, Circus Star, and I paid too much for it. It's six bucks. But it was sealed, so I just, and I wasn't finding anything else, so I thought, well, I'll just buy that. So, sealed Wii game, no big deal. This next thing that I got, I almost should keep to the end, because it's, it's definitely, it's definitely pretty cool. It's a blue rubber duck! I couldn't, I saw it, and there's that irrational part of my brain that was like, you cannot leave that at that thrift store. It cannot stay here. It had to come home. It was $2.99. And, which is really funny because I have told the story a few times on the channel now about how this duck thing came about. This is this is actually not even the one. Patrick, do you see another duck? Yeah, right That's here. not the one. What's he over there for? Okay, so this is the one. I've had this since I was 15 years old and I bought it to play I bought it because I thought it'd be cool to set it on top of my guitar amp when me and my band played concerts and that's what I did. And then it became a problem after that. I'm not going to get into the whole story, but uh, it's become a lifelong problem after that. I've just bought so many ducks, and I've had I've had hundreds of people that I know give me ducks as presents. I've gotten a big tub of them in my storage unit. It's kind of gross, but Howard, who I've now had for 15 years, has a companion. Now, what I want you guys to do is comment below. What should I name this one? This is Howard. What's her name? Any ideas? Yeah, that got weird. Now, let's move on to the awesomeness. Now, mind you, again, this was all from one store. Actually, 
took so long to look through all of this stuff that I had two different employees help me because one of them got called away and someone else had to come replace them. Uh, there was just a lot to go through. I told them when I started, I was like, hey, I'm sorry, but I need to see all the video games that are in there. There's a lot of stuff that I want to buy. Matter of fact, these Game Boy and NES games that were on top, I was like, you can go ahead and set those aside. I know I'm buying them. It was half off day at Savers today, so all of this was half off. So we'll kind of talk a little bit about the prices. Here is a base, here's basically Game Boy Baseball. I'll have to open it up. This one was priced a little higher than the others because it had its manual with it. But uh, this is one of those sports titles that just has the generic name but then has Mario on the cover. So, Game Boy Baseball. Very nice. Uh, let's go ahead and show the golf game. This one's pretty funny because we were just talking about this over on the Discord. Uh, go join our Discord if you haven't already. That's where uh, I get a lot of my game suggestions at from our community Discord. But I got both of those in the same day. Awesome. Very excited to play those, actually. I haven't played them since I was a kid. And then, this one didn't have a price tag, so I, only, I ended up getting it for a couple bucks. International World Cup. Very nice. While I go through all these games, if you see anything that you would suggest I play, definitely let me know. Give me a good reason as to why I should play it. And I just might. Uh... It's how I get, it's like I said, how I get most of my uh, game suggestions is from you guys. Bases loaded for the Game Boy as well. So, four Game Boy games today, and they were all pretty cheap. They were all like three or four bucks. They were marked eight bucks, but they were all half off. And then three NES games. Uh, one of them I already had, but I bought it because I already have it completed in box. So, there's my copy of Super Mario Brothers 3. And. I just went ahead and bought this one because it's like my favorite Super Mario Brothers. It's my favorite NES game. So I'm just going to leave this one in my NES to be ready to play at any time. And I'll leave that one in box. So that was a good find. And then here's the one that Hannah was probably the most excited about. Kirby's Adventure is marked for 15 so I got it for $7.50. Such a great game. And uh, I'm, I'm going to be playing that this week. I don't need any suggestions for that. And then Dr. Mario. Very nice, right? I would love to have these in box, but I wasn't going to not pay these prices. So three bucks for Dr. Mario. I'm happy about it. Not mad about that at all. And then another stack of awesomeness. I should have left those for last. That would have been more exciting. I don't know if there's anything in here as exciting as that stuff. But there's some good stuff in here. Let's just run through it. Six Flags. Fun Park. Ghost Squad. And then this, I actually saw a couple times in the last few days. There's a DVD in here. Why? We'll talk about it in a minute. I saw this a couple times this week, but it never had the disc in it. But Outlaw Volleyball. And it's complete. And I don't know if this came this way originally, or if someone just tucked this in here. Okay. Defuser, Hollywood Records, Outlaw Volleyball. I guess this is like the soundtrack to it. That's what it looks like to me. Very nice. And then a couple GameCube, oh, a few GameCube games here. Uh, I don't even know if I already had these or not. I didn't check. I tend to not check when it's GameCube because I just want them so bad. But NBA Live 03, NBA 2K2, GameCube as well. These were all two bucks. And then Crash Nitro Kart for the GameCube. I already had that for the PlayStation 2, but I don't believe I had it for the GameCube. So I'm always happy to pick up some GameCube games. Uh... Hold on, hold on. One more GameCube game, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3. I got that for $1.50, so I wasn't mad about that either. Here's one that I already had. It's an Avatar Airbender game, and I have the Hollywood video case for it, so I've got the original now. Very nice. And then, let's see, Desert Storm 2. I guess it's actually called Conflict, Desert Storm 2. Back to Baghdad. And I got this for $1.50 as well. And then this next game, the guy that checked me out was super excited about it. He was like, dude, I remember playing that game. It was lit. I was like, same. Uh, Smackdown vs. Raw for the PlayStation 2. And then last and certainly not least, I got a Monster Hunter game. Monster Hunter 2 Freedom for the PSP. I've been killing it with the PSP lately, man. And this one was $1.50. 
A dollar fifty for a PSP Monster Hunter game. I have not played any of the Monster Hunter games yet. I actually, the first one I ever bought was one on the 3DS. Yeah, that sounds right. I came across it at a Goodwill or something. And I haven't played it yet. I don't know where to start. So if you're watching and you like Monster Hunter, maybe give me a tip. Where should I start with the Monster Hunter series? Would this be a good good place to start? Maybe not, but maybe. I, I definitely, definitely love me some PSP, so... I'm excited to have this. All right, that's everything that I got today. Let's talk about favorite things. I am going to have a hard time choosing. I think, just so Hannah doesn't kill me, I'm going to say my favorite thing that I got today was Kirby's Adventure. How do you feel about that? You like it? Patrick, you want to play Kirby's Adventure? Yeah. I'm excited about this. I've never played a Kirby's NES game, actually. Most of the Kirby games I've played have been all the Game Boy and Game Boy Advance ones. So I'm very excited about that. Uh, I don't know. I bet some people will like SmackDown. Some people will probably like Monster Hunter. Uh, yeah. That was not a find for today. That is one of my best finds ever. Um, let's talk about something else. Least favorite thing that I got? There's nothing bad in here. The sports titles, maybe. But even they are GameCube, so no biggie. I'm happy about it. Also, before you go, guys, we've got merch now. You might have spotted me wearing it a little bit in this episode. No, I didn't wear any today, did I? I've got my I've got my Toy Story shirt on. But we do have merch now. Go check it out. Tendostore.com. We've got some pretty cool hoodies and t-shirts with our Tendo logo on it. Also, we've got some stickers for sale, some vinyl decals. Those are really cool. We've already had some people receive some, put them on their water bottles. One guy, I think I saw, put them on his 3DS or something. Tendo sticker on the 3DS. Dope. Uh, also, before you go, I already mentioned Discord today, but go join it. Come chat about video games with us. There's about 100 members there now. It's a good time. Every day there's lots of chatting about video games and movies and all things good. And also, before you go, here on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. Nothing would mean more to me than you subscribing if you're watching because we're nearing 1,000 subs closer and closer every day. And uh, I, I can't be thankful enough for it. And so every sub we get, the greater my power grows. Also, everybody, hit that notification bell. Ring it. Ring the bell. Ring it. Ring it. Because when you do, you'll get notifications when we post these videos in the future. And when we post these videos in the future and you get a notification, you can come back. And we can hang out and talk video games then. And until then, guys, peace out.